here to bring you another anime review. This time I'm doing it on uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans, episode 14, Vessel of Hope. Alright, so basically, uh, a couple of things, a couple of big things happen in this episode. Uh, this is a, it's almost like the beginning of the next plot. First we get, uh, we get new animations, you know, it's, it's the second half of the season, or season two, I, I don't know, I think it's the second half of the season is how I would describe it. We got new intro, new outro, uh, animations going along with it, um, and we start to see the snowball rolling down the hill as they get closer and closer to the to the earth and they they land in in the earth colonies uh one of the one of the colonies above earth <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so, yeah sorry got a little bit of a cough there which is dort and they're supposed to land on dort too to drop off some cargo now this is important this is their first cargo mission as, as being part of the group and they're they're told you know they want to do a good job uh, another thing we're getting to is a, a conflict with the maid basically yeah, the maid nanny I don't know, what was her uh, you know official title there but <clears throat> there's obviously something she's supposed to do that is contradicting her conscience because the princess loves her and treats her like family and she has to betray her is what we're getting but the <coughs> the princess after hearing uh, Biscuit's description of the area would like to go to the uh, third colony because, <coughs> excuse me, the third colony. <coughs> Ooh, maybe I need something to drink. Yeah, that's the stuff. But uh, the third colony is commercial port, so they could do some shopping. Um, so the princess and our little chef and the. Uh, and the maid chick, uh, the three ladies decide to embark on a shopping trip. Yeah, so they're being escorted by Biscuit and uh, by Mika, Mika Zuki. Mika Zuki. I can't pronouncing his last name gets me, but Mika Zuki. And um, which she's a little embarrassed on because maybe she's going to get some stuff she didn't want him to know about. You also find out that Biscuit is actually from that colony, or from those colonies, and that his brother, after their parents died, uh, his eldest brother went and, and, and uh, to work for a corporation. So he's going to meet up with him on the next episode. But, here's the thing. When Tekadan gets to the second port, something odd happens. The workers are happy to see him. Their legend has grown. They've become legendary outlaws and a symbol of revolution. And, you know, our boy is like, you know, our boy Arga is like, uh, what the f is going on here, right? Like, I'm glad you guys are happy to see us and it's cool that our legend has grown, but... Who is this mysterious benefactor of yours? Like, who's spreading our legend? This is weird as shit. Like, his his spider senses were tingling on that one. And not that these guys are bad dudes, but that somebody may be using them. And then it gets close to the end of the episode, and that's when the shit hits the fan. And that's when you find out that they transported weapons and ammunition uh, to them and they've been set up so basically he says that yeah this is the, 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 the arms you were gonna give us to start the revolution we were told by her emissary uh, that you guys would drop this off on our way to earth 
And they're like, what? We, we don't know anything about this bullshit. This wasn't done for us. So because they're a delivery company, uh, uh, they were sent a shipment that was going to be funneled through them to set them up. And uh, the shocking twist at the end of the episode really is, is all right, so now... Uh, so then they're getting raided at the same time, right? So now they're getting raided, they've been set up, things are bad, right? Because now she's supposed to be the symbol of peace, now she's institute, she's she's organizing insurrection, and she's not even there. What's worse is we, uh, Orda figures, all right, get the ship out of there, we gotta go. And it's funny, he was told specifically not to cause a fight with Gallahorn because this is Earth, and there are laws, but where you guys were, that pretty much weren't. It was like uh, outlaw territory, so legal action may not be taken, but we can't play those games here, and games are being played. Now, I believe the benefactor is the old man who, who's been financing this whole thing, because he wants to see what will happen with her. Uh, but the other half of this is, our main chick, her original mission was to lead her into this uh, into this situation and she would be assassinated so basically she would become a martyr for the cause however she kind of disobeyed orders when she allowed her to go to the third colony as a, instead of the second giving which is a change of plans uh, and thus she wasn't there to be killed all of this stuff and I think that the maid was supposed to kill her, honestly. But so all of this stuff is is is, is good. Now that snowball is, is rolling down the hill. Uh, what are they gonna do? What is Oregon gonna do? Because now the dock walkers love them, but they're they just pushed back the military. Like things are heating up, and they're in the middle. And it, it's gonna be interesting to see now. The other thing that was good is uh, the breaking down of the mobile armor from the previous episode, right? That big green frog, goliath-looking thing. They take off the helmet, and what do you see under the helmet but a face of a mobile suit that this is just a shell put over him. Remember, they said he had an energy signature similar to a Gundam, and that it's clearly like a blacked-out Gundam face. So... Gundam number two on the way. That's my prediction. And I can't wait to see what it looks like under underneath all that armor. What type of Gundam it's going to look like. And how powerful is it going to be getting Gundam two. The other thing is it's going to be a while before the other mobile suits that they captured are going to be able to be converted to use the system that they use for their mobile workers. Because they're experimenting and trying to get it so that they can use the interfaces correctly so that their mobile suit team can grow. Uh, that's uh, on, the, on the Gundam side note. Now, what did I think of this episode? I'm going to give this episode a three and a half uh, uh, out, of, out, of, uh, out of five, and I'll tell you why. It, it would have been a three, but because of, of that know that that the right pacing on this uh and that the way they, that that it just started rolling down the hill and the mystery of it um it is just enough to whet your appetite after having like a two-week hiatus between seasons new year's christmas all that uh to come back to it and wet your whistle with the show and to be and to to leave you in it it is such a good cliffhanger that you are anticipating not only the next episode, but you're anticipating the rest of the show because of how just the arc is starting to, uh, it's like a crack in the ice. It's just starting to uh, spider out and just go all over the place. And it'll be interesting for me to see where that goes. So again, three and a half out of five. Um, and, and I think that's it about the episode. Uh, other important thing to note, I've changed, uh, background music obviously if you can tell and i've changed my intro and stuff let me know in the comments what do you think about that if you like the old one better if you prefer this new stuff it's a little uh the, the, the pace is a little more on this one i feel like it's a little more upbeat 
Um, what? Uh, so that's enough out of me. So click it up if you like it. Comment if you must. Subscribe if you can. And share if you please. Please, folks, help us grow this brand. All right. This is your buddy, Alert Wolf, signing out.